I am Carlos Mencia, and this is a Week in Review. Things that have piqued my interest, if you will, in the last week or so. Story and numero uno. A man in Indonesia has seven dogs. And uh, he left his seven dogs for a couple of weeks without food or drink of any kind. And, you know, when he came back, the dogs were pissed, of course. Now, they didn't crap on the floor or bite everything up or scratch up the furniture like American dogs would. No. These Asian dogs ate their owner when he got back. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Were they pissed? Or was it revenge for the fallen? I'm sure a cousin or an uncle or a brother of one of those dogs fell upon the fork of an Asian. So, you know, I want to feel bad for the guy, but come on, at this point it's what? Dogs won? Asians a billion? I am so glad that this next story happened because I get to look at my mom and say, I told you so. All right, here's what happened. A woman who runs a daycare center is being prosecuted because she put drugs in the kids that were like from 10 months to about four years old so they could go to sleep. And everybody's freaking out. And when my friend called me about this story, he's like, can you believe that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. I'm Hispanic. My people have been giving their kids Drugs forever. Well, alcohol, I think. Is alcohol a drug? Yes. They've been drugging us for years. And you know why? Because when you give a kid alcohol, he gets really, really happy and really, really sleepy. And then they get addicted. And then they beat their wives. And then they end up in jail. And then, have you ever had it pushed in? Thanks for the tequila, Mom. This next story is kind of awesome, but weird and creepy at the same time. I don't know if you know this or not, but they have just created synthetic meat. Yeah, they call it SMEAT, and it is about 65% more energy efficient to create this in a lab than it is to feed cattle. And then if anybody from PETA or anybody like that gets a hold of this, they'll tell you, by the way, in order to raise a cow, you have to feed it this much grain. And that much grain can be that many people, but a cow can only feed this many people. But now that they have smeat, oh my God, the communities are going crazy. And I'm just saying, awesome. But how about something that we need? Huh? How about that? How about creating something that guys want like... Smussy. That would be great. It's synthetic meat. How about some smeaness for the girls? Huh? Let's not ignore the gays. Smass. I'm telling you, we can just keep this going. A small job. Listen to me. This, you make up your own and send them to me at Carlos Mencia at carlosmencia.com and we will share them next week. I want some smussy. Mix in with some smitties and some smass. Booyah! Rapper The Game recently came out and called out other rappers and said, Hey man, a lot of you guys are on the DL. You guys are getting HIV virus and then you're passing it on to the chicks and they're passing it on to us and you're not even heterosexual. Yeah, the DL stands for on the down low. It just means you're in the closet, but that's what everybody else says. You're in the closet. In the black community, it means you're on the DL. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like you're on the DL Hughley show. Whoever's going to be a friend of mine, that's a whole nother DL. That's an awesome DL. Not that this is not an awesome DL, because if you get it, it doesn't matter. But don't stay in the closet. My whole thing is this. Okay, now that I got it in my head that there's some rappers that are gay, and you do too, there's obvious choices that we all know that if they came out of the closet, none of us would be surprised. I'm going the opposite route. I'm thinking to myself, how freaked out would we be if somebody like, I don't know, LL Cool J came out of the closet? That would be a shocker. Right? You know... I'm LL Cool J, and uh, I agree with the game that, uh, you know, rappers um, got to come out of the closet, man, because, you know, I'll be being a lot of bitches, man, and uh, NCISLA, yeah, anybody got some chapstick? I ain't gay. Saturday Night Live did a sketch with Alec Baldwin where his name was Shwetty. And he had all these chocolate balls and these sugar balls. And so I guess it was uh, popular enough that Ben and Jerry's now 
as an ice cream called Shweddy Balls. And uh, don't be thrown off by the name of it. It's actually really good. Shweddy Balls in your mouth. Amazing. Seriously. I'm LL Cool J. I love sweaty balls in my mouth. Sweaty, salty balls. And you know, salt dries you up. Maybe that explains why I'm always licking my lips. Because of all the sweaty, salty balls in my mouth. There's a church in Texas that actually gives services at a drive-in theater. Remember those old drive-ins where you go in there with your car? Yeah, well, I'm old enough to remember going to the drive-ins, and we never went to go see a movie. We were there to make out and bang and yeah. But now they're going, and there's a sermon and a guy talking about Jesus. I don't know if I could. Actually, it would be kind of cool to be booning out to Domini Filippo El Espiritu Santi Oh my God, you're putting holy water on my back. That's what it is. Rise for Jesus. And that is the last story because I am going to hell. See you next week. Hey, Father Donald, sorry for doing that joke. I had to. It was just that funny. If you ain't laughing, you ain't living. Kevin got a big old, I mean, Aisha got a big old butt. I know I told you I'd be true, but Larry got, I mean, Aisha got a big old butt. So I'm leaving you. See ya!